So um, we are going to do a Giardia test. So we sell four different tests. This one here is the Giardia, which is a parasite that gets uh, into uh, the guts of uh, dogs, very common for puppies. And uh, it's relatively easy to treat. It's not so easy to detect. And you can quite often go to the vet and the vet says, no, nope, don't see any Giardia. In fact, Giardia is present. A much easier way to do this is just to simply do what's called a snap test. And this is on a new puppy that we just received. Yes, right. Just got him in and Not he's... Not our new litter. What has he been with us now? Three days. And his stool's just a little soft. Yeah. So we're just going to find out. So, so, so what we did... when they get upset, they can get coccidious. So too. there's a little bit of poop there that I collected with a spoon. I could okay. have more than that. You just don't need very much. Okay, so here we go. So here's the test. So the test... This is a test of 10 kits. You can buy it in 10 or 5 because it comes with instructions. And it comes with... A swab it comes with some little buffer tubes and then it comes with these and they've got a shelf life of approximately two years expiration on this one is 0522 so this has got one year all right so inside this there is a little cassette and there is a little pipette and then there's a little silica you know these little silica things you've got to throw that away all right so here we go so what do we do so we've got to go put some of this poop into, we're just gonna use this to do it. I hope don't knock that over. So here's a little swab. We're just gonna pick this up with the swab. So here comes the poop. There it is. I'm gonna stick that in there. We're gonna, you can see. I can't see because your fingers. My big old fat fingers go. are in the way. Yeah, always. Yeah. Just gotta mix it up so we make kind of, there we go. The amount of poop you put in here, not important. Just you can see, right, here we go. So we just take this up here, and I think it says three drops. So we're gonna put in a little oval window. One, two, three. I'm gonna read the instructions afterwards to see if I'm right about three. And, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Two to three drops into the sample. Okay, now you can see what's going on here. So there's two lines that are gonna form. The first line tells you that uh, the test is good, and the second line will tell you whether the Giardia is present. And it takes up to five minutes to get results. So, you know, this is like watching paint dry here. But you can see the whole line's moving forward. You can see the T means that the test is good. just upset because he has been crying. Oh, that's actually a positive result. That's a, there it is, you can see it right there. That's a positive result right there. Okay, so it does have a so, so the the this could be very, very faint is positive. There it is. This is the C means it's a good test, the T means it's positive. He's got Giardia. So there we go. Okay. So that so simple. So absolutely simple. So look, I, I recommend So what do you treat for Giardia? Uh, metrondazole. Metronazole is a tablet, so it's an antibiotic, metronazole. Okay. And I actually buy a product called Fishzole, and I give that because I can buy that without a, without a prescription. Um, and um, I don't know what the dosage is, I have to look it up, and I don't give dosages out anyway, but there it is, that's a positive result. Mm -hmm. So look, I mean, if you've got puppies, I recommend that you buy some test kits because this is so simple. I don't know what this is. I think it's 149 per 10 Because if you were to walk into the vet's office oh. and get this tested, you'd walk out $100 later probably well, or plus more. Plus, they'll do what's called a flotation test where they take the poop, they put it in some uh, buffer solution, they put a slide on the top of it, the little bugs go to the top, they look under a microscope, and then they come back and say, nope, don't see any Giardia. And in fact, there is Giardia. Mm -hmm. So this is a positive test. It's so quick to do. And uh, it's inexpensive. You can keep these for well over a year. It doesn't have to even be refrigerated. So what test do we offer? We've got this one here, Giardia. If you're going to have puppies, get the test because you because you want to make sure and you want to treat this early. This little boy here doesn't have any blood in his stool yet, does he? No, not yet. He'll develop it. Yeah. If you don't treat it, he'll get blood in his stool. And then he'll start maybe losing weight. Yes. Not a, just not a good thing. Because they can eat and eat and eat, but they won't actually gain any weight. Yeah, right, exactly. Because what's happening is all the nutrients, nutritious stuff in their, in their intestine is, is, is going to grow uh, parasites. And yes. it can actually uh, irritate the, the wall lining and, and then you can, uh, you know, you'll get blood and you can, a dog can die over this. So this, our guy's gonna be fine, but, but 
the important thing here is to get this treated quickly. So what tests we have? We've got this one here for the Giardia. We've got one for Parvo. So it's a, the Parvo one is also a fecal test, very simple to do. Look, if you think that you've got any possibility that a dog's got Parvo, this is something that you absolutely want to get on with as quick as possible. Signs of Parvo are a dog that is vomiting with, with, with diarrhea listless and just not a happy dog at all. Mm -hmm. And, it, and uh, a dog with parvo will infect all your other dogs very, very quickly, needs to be quarantined. And uh, if you don't treat that, a uh, very good chance the dog won't survive. If you treat it, then you've got an 85% chance that you, you'll see. I've done a whole video on that. So those tests that you've got, yes. Two other tests, pregnancy test. If you've got a dog and you want to know if it's pregnant, at 30 days after AI, do the pregnancy test. That's another one. It does require that you draw blood. And the other one is the brucellosis test. Bruce, Very important when you're bringing in new dogs. That's to your right. Anytime area. you bring, anytime you get a new dog that's over six months old, you need to do a brucellosis test. And you and and we do a brucellosis. You'll wipe out your whole kennel if you don't. Yeah, not kill them, but it'll make them all infertile. And actually, they'll right. they'll have puppies. So that's but wiping have, out your whole kennel. Yeah, they'll have dead puppies. <laughs> yes. Um, so any dog that comes to us just visiting gets a brucellosis test, and we brucellosis. The mama test. dog will get pregnant, carry the babies, and then when she has them. You'll see a few puppies die a day after, two or, days or after, three puppies. days after. Yeah, or still, stillborn. Or, or dead yeah. puppies inside her. So please, brucellosis test any new dogs 